We're in a bathroom again. I would have never guessed. Life's simple. It's just another bathtub. And we're gonna make this brand new. This looks uh, pretty rough. Rough and tough. Uh, it's had the do-it-yourself kit on top of what was professionally done once upon a time. So we're going to uh, feather this out. It's a nice run everywhere. Run, run. So we're going to strip feather this guy. All I know is it's terrible. We're going to do the surround, the tub, and we're going to do a restore on the floor. Which just means we just buzz the floor with 40, then 80. Then we take our roll of lock, cookie grinder, and go between every grout line. Get all it's super clean and all the edges. You know, nobody's done this. Nobody's cleaned this floor and, you know, really cleaned the floor in probably 20 years. So we'll make her nice, nice. And then uh, this will turn out brand new. Now, a lot of people ask me, what sanders am I using? Okay. Maybe I haven't been thorough enough into my other videos. This is a Makita polisher. This is 11 thread, 5 eighths round. Okay. You can get any other polisher. They do the same. Um, Makita's really good. DeWalt's got a good one. Those are the two that I would recommend if you're doing it all the time. You want to cheap out, you know, get a cheaper one, try it out. Go ahead. Then what I do is I get these. These are five inch backer pads. That's called an interface pad and that allows you to get the contours. And I use basically two different ones. This one has been beaten to heck. This has been used for stripping and stuff. And then there's this metal backer one that allows more tra energy transfer. And this is the same as this, except this is just worn down more because of it. Right on there. That's it. And it just turns. And this is the most efficient way of sanding. Now you gotta kind of figure out how to sand with this. I've got this one for lighter sanding. I don't have that much sanding to do. But if I'm gonna be sanding it, doing some heavy sanding on a tub like this, taking out runs and stuff like that, I'm gonna use something like this. It's gonna take me about 20 minutes. And well, it's gonna make a lot of dust, people say. Well, you, well, that's why you have this. You elevate this close to the tub. So I'll pull it right up to the tub. And 99% of my dust goes in there. Now, the apartment's on a renovation anyways. So what if there's a little bit of dust? If there's, I'm gonna put my fan back there and I'm gonna turn my turbine compressor. I'm gonna blow everywhere anyways. And I'm gonna make a big dust bomb here and everything's gonna go in here. So I've seen people use Orbital or DA sanders with a vacuum on it. Yes, that is cleaner, but it's, you know, it's also 25 times slower. You're, you would be sanding on this forever with one of those, like hours. Or you would end it, you know, if you said, oh, well, I can do it in 20 minutes too. You're not gonna get, do the same job I'm gonna do with this, I promise you. Because this sands way, 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 way faster. You sand way, way faster. And you use less sandpaper because it cuts more efficiently. So I'd rather sand like crazy for 20 minutes and deal with a little bit of dust for 10 minutes. And it doesn't take long. This is not a very big room and everything's going to go in here. This is not a very big room. So it's not going to take you very long to clean all the dust up. It, even if you didn't have that much dust, but if you've got a good fan like this, 90% of your dust is going out, going out, out the fan and a little bit of dust that you have to clean up. You vacuum your floor, you vacuum your top surfaces, you scrape all this, you throw the big pile of dust you have in the, in the garbage. So you don't plug your vacuum. And then you're gonna have it on the walls. So then you blow, you put your fan back there and you blow everything, right? Everything goes in the fan. And then you vacuum in your floor and your tub and your top surfaces and you're done. Your, your bathroom's completely clean in 15 minutes. So 25 minutes on the tub, 15 minutes blowing and cleaning versus holding the DA or the orbital sander for hours. Forget it, that, does, that doesn't make any sense to me. But you know, whatever makes you more comfortable. But I'd rather do it this way. I'm not afraid to clean up dust. So here we go, let's get sanding. Jimmy the machine clean the floor and we started out with a zillion specks of paint everywhere now she's pretty clean so this is already all prepped out now we're just
just gonna clean the tub. Away we go. All right, that's it. She all brand new. Look at this. Yeah. Look how we did the drain. Beautiful. Stripped it all. And when you get these old chrome drains, when the chrome comes off, it's brass underneath. So we polish the brass. It turns into this beautiful, beautiful tub surround with that, nice and clean. So tight, cocked in. Beautiful. Really nice clean job, turned out all nice. We'll go around it like this. And she's a nice, nice. Oh, she's a very nice. Look at that. Turned out nice and clean and smooth. Beautiful. Our cock beads all nice and straight. How do we get this nice and straight like this? Is I put, I tape it about that far away from the tub and I run a bead on there, I wipe it with my finger, I pull the tape off and then you get this nice straight cock bead on this. And it just makes the, Makes them nice and tight and clean. We uh, we repointed the floor for them, so it was ultra filthy. We buzzed it over with 40 grit, get off all the paint. Then we buzzed it all with 80 grit. Then we took our uh, Rolock grinder, Milwaukee hand grinder, went in every every grout line. You can see how uh, how it turned out. It looks nice and clean. Looks nice and tight, nice and clean. Floor seven years old. Doesn't need to be replaced. Jimmy the Machine did this while I was while I was prepping this out over here. So we two-timed it. But anyways, awesome guys. She turned out really good. I'm sure they're gonna be very happy with it. Walls will last over 20 years. Tub will last about 10 years, eight to 10 years, depending on how the tenant treats it. And then you just feather it out and reglaze it again. And you can just keep doing that as many times as you have to. But the walls will last in excess of 20 years, maybe even longer. Because, you know, nobody's walking on the walls. This is where all the abuse happens. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.